I swear every time I turn around, my kids are in like too small of clothes. Oh, I remember those days. Yeah. Crystalina. Yeah. Little brother wore big brothers a lot. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> right? We, mm -hmm. it, you do, a lot of times that's just still what you've got to do. Dining and entertainment. Holly, if you tell me that I cannot go out to eat or I can't get my favorite drink from my favorite soda shop, I'm going to cry. So how can I, I still know. afford this? Right. <laughs> and honestly, this is something like I will go back to too high of an expectation. You cannot take the joy out of life. Yeah. And those are things that bring joy. We love to get together with family and friends. We like to go out to dinner. We like to go to the movies because those are the things that we enjoy. It doesn't make sense. So if you say you're never going to do that, Crystalina, you're going to be very unhappy and it's yeah. not a realistic. So when you set that expectation, I'm not ever going to do this. The first time you do it, you feel defeated. Yeah. You have the conversation, well, I'm not good with budgeting because I said I was never going to do that. Yeah. That's one of those money scripts mm -hmm. I'm now telling myself, which right? I've learned from you before. Yep. Yeah. You've learned about the money scripts. So Kay. absolutely. So there's things that you can do. Your favorite place to eat, your favorite restaurant. Are you a frequent diner? Are you part of their frequent diners club where they're sending you coupons or discounts? Um, your kids, the birthday club taking advantage of things like that. How fun yeah. for kids to go to their favorite pizza place and you don't have to pay for it and they get a free ice cream or birthday cake or whatever. So yeah. taking advantage of things like that. Okay. Um, now, sometimes you can do the early bird special, right? Yeah. Beat the crowd, go yeah. and get the nice meal before. Um, it doesn't have to be for us old people. <laughs> you can take your kids and take advantage of yeah. the early birds. Um, asking for the discounts. Are you military? Are you senior citizen? Are you public servant, police officer, fireman? You know, asking, it's okay to ask, hey, I am a veteran. Do you offer a discount? Yeah. Um, but then, you know, look at your favorite restaurant and look at your serving sizes. Half the time, you can order one entree and share it with someone. Sure. Yeah, there's a lot of truth to that. I mean, yeah. I can think of a restaurant where I'm like, that would feed a family of four. And yeah, that's yeah, just yeah. my serving. Yeah. So maybe looking at that and sharing an entree. So you're still enjoying it. You're still out and having a good time. Um, but you're saving a whole $13, $15, $20 on an additional entree. Or you're taking half of it home. So you have yeah. it for lunch and now you're not spending. Um, those are Those are some really good things that you can do planning ahead. Um, most of the time we like to go out because we like to that social interaction. We like being with family and friends. Yeah. Well, if we're feeling the pinch, I promise we're not the only ones feeling that. Sure. So if we're communicating that with our family and our friends, hey, love to get together for you. Let, let me host. Everyone bring, you bring an appetizer, you bring, you know, a dessert. I'll take care of the entree. Yeah. You know, you're saving on a tip. You're saving on having to turn a table. It's way more enjoyable. There's nowhere to go. Yeah. So sharing and doing something like that, um, the progressive meals, that used to be a big thing when yeah. you would take turns going through the neighborhood, different people's homes and um, other options, right? Yeah. And then the Get coupons. Get creative again, <laughs> right? The coupons. Yeah. We'll go back to that with our kids. You know, bowling alley. Can you bowl two rounds and get one free or sure you know local businesses are trying to drive uh you know people to come into their businesses so they're offering going to those websites looking what kind of deals that they have so that you're not setting you're 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 not missing out on doing fun things um our little run-ins for our sodas yes right? yes i love yeah. those my little Maverick Diet Coke foam cup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You tend to grab a couple of things because, you know, not only are you spending $1.50 every day for that, but you're grabbing extra things because you're hungry or you just feel weird putting $1.50 on a debit card. Sure. So 
trying to avoid situations like that. So keep my phone cup mm-hmm. and put my own Diet right? Coke in it. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I, I literally <laughs> had to say, I'm not going to do it during the week. That's going to be my little treat on the weekends as I'm running errands. There you go. So once a week. Okay. <laughs> so be, being more intentional. Right? Right? I'm not eliminating what yeah. brings me joy. I'm getting my Diet Coke on Saturday. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I remember over the holidays, we were hosting a lot, like having people come to us, right? And yeah. not every time were we like, hey, you bring this too. We were just hosting a ton. Yeah. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is so expensive. Yeah. What have we done? But now, right, we're like, okay, we're doing it once a month and it's going to be intentional with people we love and it's yep. going to be awesome. Yeah, it's and, the same. And yeah. again, people, we w- will be surprised. All we have to do is open up that conversation. People would feel the same if they were hosting. Yeah. I'm the same way. Yeah. Love to host. But if you if you throw out, hey, here's the menu. Can you bring this? People are happy. Yeah. Have you ever lost a friend by asking them to bring no, a dessert? Actually, no. Right? Yeah. And if, if you did good riddance. Right. No, I'm <laughs> good luck them finding a friend yes. like us. <laughs> yeah. I'm always seeing gift cards for restaurants yes. at other stores. Yep. Is that saving me money or not so much? Yeah. You know, I love I love the, the big warehouse stores will okay. offer the packet of gift cards. Okay. So you could get a gift certificates up to like $100, but they'll charge you 75 or 50 dollars okay so you can per- if you're planning to go out to a nice restaurant you can go there and pick out that gift card and you're saving right off the bat 25 50 dollars okay or i love to get those and hand them out as gifts and then save that extra savings one just for me <laughs> yeah there right? you go so that's a great everyone's idea everyone's getting yes. their 25 dollar gift card but so am i but yeah. that i mean you're gonna save immediately off of your your um mill the $25, $50 because you went and took advantage of those gift cards. Definitely a good savings there. Talk to me about clothing. Ugh. Like you said, hopefully we're coming upon a change in season. Yes. Um, so what can we do to save money there? I swear every time I turn around, my kids are in like too small of clothes. Oh, I remember those days. Yeah. Crystalina. Yeah. Little brother wore big brothers a lot. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> right? right? We, mm-hmm. it, you do, a lot of times that's just still what you've got to do. But we are. We're going into a season change. So all of our sweaters and our coats and our gloves and our hats and boots, all of those things are 50%, right? They're liquidating. They oh. need to get new merchandise. So let's plan ahead, right? We're going to need that coat, those gloves, those boots next year. You know, do you have an older child that you know from this age to the next year about how much they grew that you can load up now mm. on those discounts and put them away for next season? Um, stay away from department stores if you're an emotional spender. Okay. Okay. Tell me more. <laughs> well, there's, a, I mean, again, it's that social interaction. Yeah. Hey, let's just go walk through the mall. Um, mm. And if you have a hard time resisting those, you know, buy one, get one freeze. Um, Sometimes you just have to change your habits, right? If your habit is to go through and do that, if you can't um, resist those offers and get those good deals, um, stay away from them. Okay. Um, Look at seasons, taking inventory of what you have and then going out and just getting maybe those one or two pieces to complement what you already have in the closet. Okay. Thrift stores. I don't know how old your kids are, but that's a huge trend now with teenagers. Yes. The thrift shopping. It's crazy and I love it, but it's so fun. You just go into these boutiques or these thrift stores and it's that hunting for that just great find and kids love it. Um, Take advantage of the trend if that's what it is. (laughs) Yes, there you go. Yeah, absolutely. We've talked about thrift stores and how that's a, you know, kind of a trend for teens. Um, tell me more about clothing swaps. Yes. Um, so it's towards the end of the school year. So a lot of high schoolers are, we're going into prom season and that can be a very expensive night. Um, yes. So clothing swaps for events like that, you know, does it make sense to go out and buy a new suit or a new dress or a pair of shoes that you're going to wear it for that one event? So getting with friends, 
And um, I know when I was in high school, we would all buy new dresses for homecoming. And then throughout the year, every dance we would swap so that we all had a new dress, but it wasn't, you know, we didn't have to that extra expense. So doing something like that, um, and there's also little communities. Uh, I saw a clip where there's a, a county where they're planning ahead for people that have these kids that want to participate in these nights, these prom nights. And so they themselves have collected gently used prom dresses, suits, shoes, so that kids can go and take advantage and kind of select something for that evening and it's not going to break the bank. Um, but again, those thrift stores, uh, yes. definitely. I mean, people clean out those closets you know, they wore, their kids wore one time and they've had that expense. So repurposing them yeah, is a huge savings. Love that. Um, with clothing too, one of the things that comes to mind are those offers at the register. Yes. Ooh, those are good. Right? Save 20% today if you sign up for mm-hmm. an XYZ credit card. Yes. <gasps> yes, yes Holly, yes, yes. of course I'm going to save 20%. I know. And then you're like, wait, I'm going to go get 20% more because I'm getting 20. I was, yeah. <laughs> right? Yes. I actually, those, I'm going to go back and get that pair know, of jeans I that I wasn't going to buy. <laughs> yeah. You know, and they are, you can take advantage of those offers, but you have to be smart about it. There's a reason okay. why they're offering you 20, 30, 50% register. Because they are banking that you're going to pay them 25, 30% every single month until that balance is paid off. So be tricky. You okay. can take advantage of their offer, but then go home and pay that bill before you pay interest. Yes, because interest on those cards mm-hmm. can be crazy. And then take advantage of those okay. cash back offers. You know, if you need spring clothing, get a couple of things that are going to hold you over, get that cash to revisit. And go get a couple of more pieces, okay. taking advantage of those And there offers. are a lot of stores that do that. Yeah, okay. a lot of stores that do that. Awesome. So my, my, just be cautious of, I'm the person that's yelling, it's 30% in the back to let people know yeah. that they got to go pay that interest. bill. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fair. I actually, um, one of my first jobs was at a clothing store where I sold everyone on those credit cards. Yeah. And I was like one of the best ones in the store yeah you too yeah and i would tell them all i'm just like be sure to pay this by the end of the month i feel like i'm awful <laughs> you were financially and savvy you- <laughs> in your team <laughs> yes well yeah. yeah yeah i love it yeah i was the same worked retail my whole all through school and yeah you bet so as we're heading into the summer let's talk about kids activities because i know you mentioned you love concerts and doing all that thing but what can i do with my kids right oh yeah. kids are it, it's expensive and it can be yeah. very overwhelming. This is where you have to do some research. You okay. have to, you know, be proactive, get online, look at your local city community centers, your city website um, for some of the activities that they're offering with the, um, you know, the rec centers, a lot of times like swimming classes or basketball camps, those kinds of things that are a little bit less because they're within the community centers. Yeah. Um, boys and girls clubs are always a really great option. Um, neighborhood libraries. Yes. Right? Book clubs, so fun. Yeah. painting classes. Um, those are always really fun for kids. Being proactive and creating an, o- your own little community neighborhood play date once a week. Maybe moms get together or dads get together and take on one day a week where they have the kids, they host the kids and they have an activity, provide them a little sandwich or something just so that it helps kind of take the stress off of the other parents. Yes. You know, and it's going to be your turn to have that happen for you as well. Um, Movies in the park, you know, and again, going back and researching what's offered in your community. Okay. Lots of free, bring your own little blankets and your treats and they're going to put up the the movie every single week. Um, those are a lot of fun, uh, as well as schools. Okay. Uh, schools realize that parents are going to be a little bit in a crunch or in a, in a tough situation over summer. So they will offer programs, educational programs, something fun that will even provide either a breakfast or a lunch. Okay. Which is so important. Mm-hmm. There's nothing more overwhelming than cooking three meals a day for... <laughs> Lots of people. Yeah. <laughs> no, you just I have to that. do your research. Yeah. There's a lot of things okay. available out there 
for your kids to enjoy um, that that really aren't going to break the bank. Um, season passes, right? So yes. I, I, I get that initial sticker shock when I see how much those things are for either, um, you know, swimming pools or amusement parks. At first you look at that at a glance and you're like, oh, that's a little pricey, but you have to look at the value of that. If your kids, if, if your kids are using that once or twice a week, that's their source of entertainment. That's what their go-to is for, for the summer. Yeah. Um, maybe if they're only going to be using it once a month, it doesn't make sense. But if they're going weekly, you just have to look at the value of that initial cost versus if they did decide to go. And there are limited time. So, you know, you can only buy those season passes. So really take in consideration, how much are we going to be using these and does it make sense? Same as like buying groceries at the warehouse, sure. right? Yeah. It makes sense. I'm going to use this. Initial stock, shock at first, but then if you're using it, it's going to be a value. Okay. Love that. Love that. Um, we've talked a lot about little tiny tweaks that we can make to save our budget in the end. Any other closing thoughts, Holly, on what we need to be thinking about? Oh, I just, you know, really it is thinking out of the box. Okay. It really is. Um, and just know that if you have a concern or if you're feeling that pinch within your budget, it's okay to talk about it with your friends and family because they're going to be in the same situation, most likely. Yeah. Um, and like I said, we don't, We've never lost friends because we didn't go out to dinner with them one time. It wasn't within our budget. So just, you know, thinking out of the box, doing some spending time researching, you know, finding those coupons, those discounts, and just being proactive and planning ahead and not making it an unrealistic expectation. Yeah. Still plan for things that bring joy and fulfillment into our lives. Okay. Love it. Love it. Well, you guys heard it from the best. Holly, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Christina. And yes, thank you for sharing all of these little tweaks, small decisions that can make a big impact on our budget. And thanks to all of you as well for joining us. And we will see you on the next episode of Guiding You Forward.